This is the Russian Harvard, a brand new state-of-the-art business school in Moscow. At the opening ceremony, President Dmitry Medvedev called it a proud day for Russia and thanked the billionaire businessman who had funded the project. Among them was Roman Abramovich, soccer team owner and one of Russia's richest men. He donated 64 acres of prime land for the campus, which has its own helipad. The Skolkova School of Management is Russia's first business school to offer an MBA program in English, which prepares students for working in emerging economies. Some 40 students, a third from abroad, are in this year's program. Many are attracted by the school's combination of classroom theory and job placements with governments and companies in China, India, Russia and the USA. We'd like to change the whole model. Right? It, it, it doesn't make sense for us, and nor, nor are we interested in competing with Harvard. That's a business school of the past, we think, and I have to say this. But, um, you know, I think they, a business school of the future has to be different. The 16-month MBA course, which costs $74,000, will tackle issues such as corruption, bribery and bureaucracy, essential for working in developing markets. That's one of the reasons American student Julia Davis decided she wanted to join the program. So several CEOs, uh, either in, from Russian companies or from other countries around the world, come and speak to us about their own experiences in uh, working in emerging markets. And as part of that conversation, we learn how they address corruption and we learn how they address motivating their employees. One company which could really tell the students of the hazards of doing business in Russia is the Swedish furniture giant IKEA, one of Russia's largest foreign investors. In 2004, the company had to appeal directly to Vladimir Putin when local officials held up the opening of a new store. Earlier this summer, IKEA announced they are freezing future investment until Russia's unpredictable bureaucratic system improves. Former Russian lawmaker Vladimir Rishkov says the students have come to the right place if they want to learn about corruption. My message could be for students very simple. Guys, you are in very much, corru in very much corrupted country. You are in, in, in very much authoritarian, non-democratic country. If, to, if you want doing business here, unfortunately, you must pay bar bribes. Dmitry Medvedev has made fighting corruption a focus of his presidency. And with Russia ranked alongside Bangladesh and Syria on a global corruption index, the program at Skolkova is likely to be popular for some time to come. Andrew Bradle, The Associated Press, Moscow.